Hey guys, it's Warren here, and here is my latest IKEA hacks video, and it's on how to make a concrete lamp out of an IKEA Hema lamp stand. Seriously, how cool does that look? Also remember to subscribe and hit the bell button as well to be notified when I upload new videos. Firstly, take a juice carton where the base of it is slightly smaller than the base of your lamp. Then, using a sharp knife and a stainless steel ruler to guide you, carefully cut the bottom off the carton, paying extra attention to make sure the cut is as straight as possible. Now stand your carton upright, open up the top and then remove the pouring spout, again carefully using a sharp knife. Now cut downwards on each corner of the open top down to where the original folds were. And you should then be left with four flaps that you'll need to fold outwards. And for each of these flaps, take some gaffer tape or other strong tape and stick the four flaps down all the way round, which will help the carton keep its shape. Also do another couple of strips around the middle and the bottom of the carton, which will again help keep the shape of the carton when it's filled with cement. And once you finish sticky taping, take your IKEA Hema 35cm lamp base. Then use a pair of pliers to cut the cord just above the inline switch between the switch and the lamp base. Save the other half of the cord for later, then pull the piece of cord that has the metal pole on out from the base, then unscrew the light socket from the pole. Now separate the light socket and wire from the pole, then take your lamp base and place your carton on top. And now we need to cut the pole to size. So, gently rest the end of the pole that has the screw threads on, onto the mounting screw on the lamp base. Then measure the height of the carton onto the pole using a pencil. Now use a hacksaw to carefully saw along the line in order to cut the pole to size. Now, once cut, you then need to manipulate the non-screw thread end of the measured pole onto the mounting screw of the lamp base. This can be done fairly easily with some twisting and turning, and don't worry if it seems a little unstable as the cement will keep it in place in the end. Next, place the carton onto the lamp base using the pole to gauge that it's in the centre. And again, using extra sticky tape or gaffer tape, stick the carton down to the lamp base ensuring the tape stays nice and tight and snug so no cement will leak out. And once everything's in place, remove the pole and thread the light socket through it starting at the screw thread end. This way the light socket can be screwed onto the pole when the cement has dried. Thread the wire back through the centre of the mounting screw of the base then slide the pole down the wire and re-manipulate the pole back onto the mounting screw. Also tape the light socket onto the side of the carton so it doesn't get in the way when we're filling it with cement. And now we're ready for the next stage. Now for my cement I use rapid drying cement with 5 parts soft sand to 1 part cement. I then added 1 part water to 4 parts of this cement mixture. Now use a stick to thoroughly mix it together until the water has mixed all the way through. And depending on how long you're taking, you may need to keep mixing in small amounts of water as you're going along so the cement doesn't dry out. Now using a spoon that you probably don't want to use again, begin spooning in the cement around the pole. And as the carton's filling up, regularly tap it on its base, which will help evenly spread and flatten the cement. Finally, when you've reached the top, spoon on your last few bits of cement, again tap the lamp on its base, and you may want to smooth the top off with the back of a spoon. And then leave for 24 hours to dry. Now, after the drying time and when you can see the cement is dry on top, remove the tape from the base of the lamp and use a sharp knife to start cutting away the carton. Carefully peel it away from the cement until it's completely free. And at this point you can also screw the light bulb socket back onto the top of the pole, being sure to clear away any dried cement that may have got in the pole. If you find any holes in the block of cement, this will be due to either an inconsistent cement mix or it just didn't fall down into the gaps of the carton properly when the cement was drying. If you find this, don't panic. Simply mix up some more cement and fill in the gaps, then allow to dry for another 24 hours, which will allow any other dark patches to dry off as well. And after the drying time, you may even decide to paint your lamp to make it even more uniform in colour. So, our final steps are to take the original cord we cut off and remove the original inline switch. Then, take a new inline switch and use it to connect the cord coming from the lamp to the cord with the plug on. And remember, always consult a qualified electrician if you're ever in doubt when dealing with electrics. And now for the final touch, an uber funky light bulb. 
and these ones are also available from iCare. And now find somewhere to put your funky new lamp and then let there be light. And there you have it, that's how easy it is to make your very own iCare Hack concrete lamp. Now if you loved the look of this DIY project, remember to give this video a thumbs up and you can check out more of my videos by clicking on one of these videos appearing on screen.